a lot more people walking on the streets are now considered to have high blood pressure or have hypertension. High blood pressure, something very common and that we know is very strongly associated with risk for heart attacks, strokes, heart failure. We have new data that suggests being more aggressive with lowering blood pressure and maybe even targeting 130 over 80. Our study looked at the prevalence of abnormal blood tests that reflect injury to the heart or stress on the heart that could be happening at a subclinical level, meaning a level where you wouldn't necessarily feel it. The three cohorts combined had around, I think, 13,000 participants. This is a pretty large study in terms of the magnitude of the sample size as well as the number of events we saw over 10-year follow-up. Up to a third of them will have an abnormality in their blood test based on our data. Our study provides an avenue and provides the opportunity to use these biomarkers to test who are the highest risk of those who are identified as having high blood pressure or hypertension and who would benefit the most from initiation on blood pressure therapies that have been shown to save lives, reduce heart events, and actually make a difference in the long term. This is important research because blood pressure and treating blood pressure and prevention are major goals for us as a medical community. And we know that prevention is the best medicine.